Hello friends, today we are going to learn a program to count number of ones in the content of D register and store the count inside the B register. So simply what we are going to do, we are going to count how many ones are there inside the D register and that count we are going to store inside the B register. So let's say that before execution D register is 23H. So this 23 can be written as 0010 is 2 and 0, 0, 1, 1 is 3. So how many ones are there in D register? Total number of ones are 3. Now that's why the count of B register should become 3 because we want to store that count inside the B register. Since 3 number of ones are there, that's why B should become 3. Now we are going to achieve it. See, first we will con copy this 23H from D register inside the accumulator and we will rotate this accumulator towards the right. There is no direct instruction to rotate the content of D. That's why first we will copy this inside the accumulator. And after that we will rotate the content towards the right by writing RRC instruction. RRC stands for rotate accumulator right without catch. Let's say before execution our CY flag was 0. So after fourth first rotation what will happen? This last bit will get shifted towards the CY flag as well as it will be shifted towards the first bit position. So first bit will become 1, CY flag will become 1, this zero, 0 is shifted towards the next position, then 0 is shifted towards the next position, 1 is shifted towards the next position, 0 is shifted towards the next position, 0 is shifted towards the next position, 0 is shifted towards the next position, and 1 is shifted towards the last position so this number has become 9 1 9 1 h with acum uh, with cy flag is equal to 1 so this technique we are going to use what we will do we will rotate this d register 8 number of times why we are rotating 8 number of times because we want to check 8 places therefore we will rotate 8 number of times and we will see how many times carry has become 1 so this technique we are going to use for writing this program. So let's write program. Let's say before execution D is 23H and we are writing our program from 7000H. So first instruction that we are going to write is MVI C comma 08H. It will act as a counter. How many times we want to rotate the content? 8 number of times because accumulator is 8 bit number. That's why we will rotate it 8 number of times. And because of MVI C, 08H, our C register will become 08H. Now, this MVI C, 08 is 2 byte instruction. Therefore, MVI C, its opcode we will write at 7000 and this 08 we will write at 7001. So, it will take two memory locations of our program. So second instruction we will write at 7002 and at 7002 we will write value instruction as MVI B comma 00 H. Now we are, why we are making B is equal to 00 because of this instruction B register will become 00 H. Why we are making it 0 because every time carry gets generated we are going to increment B by 1 because ultimately we want our count of number of ones inside the B register. That's why initially we will make B is equal to 0, 0. Again, it is a 2 byte instruction. That's why MVI B code will come at 7002 and this 00 H we will write at 7003. Now at 7004, we will write our first instruction, which is next instruction M O V A comma D. Now what we did over here, M O V A comma D will simply copy the value of D inside the accumulator. Now value of D register was 23H. Therefore A register will become 23H. Accumulator will become 23H. So we successfully got answer inside the accumulator. Now we are ready to rotate. Now this is one byte instruction. That's why immediately on the next location we will write our second instruction which is RRC. RRC stands for rotate accumulator right without carry. So we will rotate the content of accumulator towards the right and immediately we will check whether carry is generated or not. 
writing instruction J and C skip. J and C skip. And where we will jump if carry is not generated, we will go ahead in our program. J and C skip is a three byte instruction, so it will take three memory location one, two, and three. And if carry is generated, then what we should do? Then on 7009, we will write instruction INR B. So every time carry is generated, then we should execute this instruction. We should increment the value of B register by 1. And if carry is not generated, we will skip this part and we will come to this memory location. We will come to this memory location. Now the address of skip is 700A. Therefore, we will write 0A over here. After that, we will write 70 over here. And this process we will continue till our counter becomes 0. Now, one number of times we have rotated the content of accumulator. That's why we will decrement our counter by 1 by writing instruction DCRC. Now, new value of C register will become 07H. Now, we will continue this process we will continue to rotate till our counter becomes zero so we'll check whether counter has become zero or not by writing instruction jnz jnz stand for jump if no zero and jump jnz we will write label as back if counter has not become zero then go back and rotate one more time so the address of back is 7005. So over here, we will write 05 first, then we will write 70. So in this way, we will complete our program. And at the end, we will end our program by writing either HLT or RST1 instruction. Thank you.